Hello there and welcome to part 3 of our gameplay walkthrough of When the Past Was Around. I'm Dan and today we continue the journey about the girl and the beast in this adventure point and click puzzle game. Sounds like fun? Then grab your favorite cup and let's watch part 3. Alright, welcome to part 3. If you remember from last time we had made some coffee and tea and we ended up here at this location. But we didn't solve the previous challenges, so I guess we will have to make do with these and the previous one. So now they want new stuff. A fire, and I can build that thing. Not like that. But let me click on, and I realize I haven't really told you the whole story of this one. So uh, let's dive into that a little bit. Because I only told you small pieces of it, so... The game tells a bittersweet tale between a girl and her lover in a surreal world consisting of disjointed rooms from memories and time. With each gathered clue, solved puzzles and unlocked doors, the girl finds her way, unraveling the secrets between her and her lover, the secrets which she used to know. That is what the game description is, and I can well say so far we have seen them in a... I don't know if it's chronological order, but they are indeed. We see, we found a bird, so I would guess we will do the same with the other one. Yep, we found this one. But they want more. Can I put the paper on the bird? No, oh, birds don't like paper. That's for sure. So here we have the... There's some time things for the lock. Is my guess. So where is that lock though? And that is the instructions for how to fold this thing. And we need a nail for that one and that we don't have yet. Dear viewer. But how are you doing today by the way? Are you having a good day? Uh, we found a camera, we stole the lens. And that... No, nothing interesting here. We're cheating a little bit and using that one. But yeah, so perhaps this lock is more about it. So what will 5 be? Well, that's a good question. I know you might have solved it, but there's also one thing you actually can do, and that is my tactic to everything. Uh, some puzzles are actually really fun to solve. This one is not my favorite, I would say. So you can basically brute force your way through it. It's not pretty, but eventually we can do it. Right. But while we click around or... Mm, I say hmm a lot in these puzzle games. Maybe we should find a new one. Maybe not something more exciting. But yeah, if you haven't seen episode 1 or 2, I can link to those up here if I remember to put up the card. I hope I do. But yeah. This isn't getting us anywhere. And I wonder what's in it though. But we can fix this one in the meantime, so we progress through the game. And the graphical style of the game is really awesome. It's like a pop-up kind of book. So now we need to find the other one that is not the bird. Or of course it is a bird, but it's an owl. So. Two for three or whatever. And we can't do anything with that one until I'm guessing we have built the wind thing. And we can set our things on fire. So how are we going to progress in this one? Let's go back here for a little bit, shall we? Mm. No. You've seen this one before, though. Me clicking around. Do they progress 15 minutes per turn? Or... I hate when I find puzzles that I don't immediately connect with. But you know what? My heart says it should be 305. 
So that's where we going. I think. But it doesn't, of course, it doesn't move like a normal clock. So like that. There we go. Ha! Big brain time. Scissor. And EDA. Ida. Ida. Maybe it is bound to the... You know, do you remember from previous episode with the... No, we can't cut that. With the... Ooh. With the popsicle. Popsicle. So how do we fold this one? <laughs> no, no cutting yet though. More good drinks. And let's see. We have to fold it in a special way or does it know how to do it? That shouldn't be there. Go away. Thank you. No. Okay, so we're obviously missing a nail also. Should we guess that the nail is hidden inside the wooden box from earlier? Yeah. Because there aren't anything else to do here then. Seeing the name really cheesy written on the sandwich by the way but hey if you have that as your liking when you're a love that's all right if you like to write your lover's name in the sandwich why not but we are obviously not where we're supposed to be and we can't do anything with this one and no really hints and that's the challenge but my guess is without this one, we are not getting any further. So let's leave this one. And nothing here to click. It's always a Volkswagen Beetle, by the way. Very hippish. Drive around with. Very bad to place the camera like that on its tripod also, but who am I to judge? Is there anything new in here? No, the box still sounds like a drum. Nothing we can pick up here. And why would we be able to tip that over again? That is just evil of them. But we've been here before. And it doesn't seem to rebuild any new hidden messages or challenges. So just to be sure, we are clicking away again. Nothing to do with the boat engine. A lovely little boat, by the way. Sad it's on, sat on the beach like that. So. There's nothing in here either. I want to try out... Uh, like the name was written on the popsicles. I want to try that out on the lock. And see if that helps. But, do we do it now though? And do I remember? Let's see if I wrote it down actually. Oops. Yes, I did. There you go. Let's see if my notes serves me well. It should be that one, that one. And that didn't do a thing. So now we... There we go. <laughs> yes. From that we got a crowbar and now we can hurry up over to the box and hopefully there's tiny little, oops, there we go. Tiny little nail for us to find. There we go. And now we can go here. You get a bit, a little bit excited when you realize you have solved certain things, and that one goes to there. Especially me, I get really excited when I oh, I solved this one. I know how to do it. Not like that though, but still, you see, we managed to do it. And now there's the camera again. 
So let's see where the memory takes us this time. It continues to write, or they write together, I guess. And here's another, the feathers. Can I click it? Yeah, that was as expected. So they continue to write, playing. I guess it's shiny, sparkly eye now. So I guess they're gonna play together. Does she have an instrument though? Of course he has two. Did he have that one in his pocket though? That's a good question. It's a beautiful song. It's almost sad to talk over it, but I don't want you to think that I've disappeared. The composers that did a really good job with this one. Uh-oh. He's sick. Or... I th think he's sick. Or did he die, though? We are back in this dark clothing again. And these pedestals and the light. So what can we do now this time? Not that one. And it's dark over there. So, hey, we can turn on the lights. That one also. It's not enough, so I guess we have to turn on all the lights in the, to lead way. There we go. And he's still in his cage. This time offering a feather. That was ominous. If I ever heard something like that. So he's getting sicker. But I want to know. Does he get that sick so he actually pass away or... That was a very nice formation of the birds. But welcome to whoever has their... Uh, that was dirty. Whoever has their washing mach machine on the roof. Not how, how we have it here in Sweden at least. But maybe I'm not that... Well traveled. But we have a safe. We have here some detergent and a lot of rooms and a safe. And we do as we always do. We click around, turn on the music again, and we see. But what what's up with all the brooms though? Okay. We got a bucket. We got a package. Hmm, suspicious. Can't use those numbers. And I will write these down because I can't betcha I will need them later on in the game. But he needs... Let's fix some water. He needs his scarf and some pills. Would we guess that the pills are in the safe? Okay, so the birds fly, fly in a formation. Very nice. That's a big, nice blanket. And a lot of butterflies. But let's see if we can wash his first thing here. Let's see if, if we have to sit here for an hour like a normal washing machine. Then I apologize for this lengthy episode. Hopefully we don't. One, five, three, two, three. That's one number too much. But as we wait for the washing machine, let's try it. 
that would be too easy, right? Way too easy. But why? Oh, so many questions. But let's give him this first. Do they own this part or do they share it? I guess they own it. Okay. What else can we do here though? Those are already written down. We are missing something. And the big old question is what? So the blanket is clue, we can't use the bucket. Nothing in there. If you know it by now, please comment and say, hey, how did you miss this one? It's so obvious. I can carry around the bucket of water though. So I can be water boy. But yes, I know you want your pills. Did nothing with these. Not the hose, and there's an alarming amount of rooms. So, while I click away, how about you tell me in the comments what's your favorite point and click adventure game you played recently? And I can feed you some more data also about this game if you like. It's out on the September the 22nd, and if I haven't mentioned it before, it's released by Toge Production, an Indian, Indonesian based independent game development and publishing studio. Oh, yeah. The pictures. Oh, hello. I can promise you that this is important also. Also the pattern of them or the order of them is of course like one and we have two, three, four, five and six you can see in the pictures. So of course that is something I will write down, because if it's not here it will come and challenge us later on in this game. I have a funny little notebook for that. All things when I play the games and need to remember clues and stuff. It's a good old book I must say. I shall pass it on to my family and they will be very confused on what all these writings and symbols are. It could be my little secret. And yours, of course. But yeah, I think I've written them all down by now. So this one is just, I don't know, call it my brute force. But no, it didn't help though. So what else can it be? One, two, three, four. That's five birds, though. Okay. So, five birds. There's a lot of brooms. So let's let's think of this. One, two, three, four, five birds. Because that's on the sheet. How many brooms, how many butterflies, and how many owls can it be? There's one owl. How many butterflies though? One, two, three, four, and five, and six, seven, eight. This is the ninth. Yeah, that's the ninth. So next number is nine. You can see it hanging there from the clothing line. How many brooms? One, two, ha <laughs> we got it. I can feel it. Two. Uh, there we go and there's five birds there we go wish i would have edited in a fanfare that would be fantastic but as we pass this one along hopefully he will feel a little bit better hardcore to just swallow them without any water but now i haven't muted it's actually no music at the moment Ah, it's us playing. Let's wait for them all. And it will probably sound a little bit better. Oh. 
Okay. So he played and disappeared. And she looks surprised. Shall we guess he went this way? Ah, the background music is back. So here's he sitting in the garden. Still sick though. And she looks mad. <laughs> Surprised owl. And now he needs flowers and medicine. Okay. Okay. We have medicine that was easy. We can't plant there, so I guess we need some seeds. And where can the seeds be hiding? Probably in here though. And lucky for us, let's see. Ah, I know this one. It's the one from the pictures. Let's see here. Yes. It's a double. Oh, and that one, yes. Now it's a double. And we end. No. Did I mark it down wrong? There we go. That's why we have our trusty notebook. Because now we have the seeds. And we can plant it. And look at that flower. That didn't... I was allowed to bloom for very long. But yeah. More medicine, happy owl. And the flower put on in her hair. That is nice little touch. So, so far his health seemed to be getting worse. Now I play it backwards, I know. Wonder if it affects the game at all, if you don't manage to play it in the right order. I will bet you that it's a Steam achievement to be getting from all of these. Okay, and he's gone, and we cannot dig, so let's hop into this door. A bubbly little note. And now she's floating again. Okay. Unexpected, but beautiful. That one also works well. Ow! Oh, okay, that was highly unexpected. Alright, that was part 3 of our playthrough of When the Past Was Wrong. If you want to know more about the game, be sure to check the description below where I put the Steam link. I'm Dan and it's been a pleasure showing you another indie game gem that I think you need to check out. And until next time, stay safe and stay awesome.